Unexplored paths often lead to new destinations and on the same note TVS took a blank sheet of paper and there is the TVS Ronin and this is the motorcycle that we are spending time with in Goa and completely drenched in rain to let you folks know if this motorcycle deserves your money or not so to find out the answer stay tuned till the end and let's get going design first in my opinion this neo retro themed design on the Ronin looks fresh. It in fact looks neat because fit and finish levels are great and so is the paint quality. And my favorite bit on this design remains this fuel tank, the off-centered instrument console, these fancy levers, the headlamp and of course the golden finish front forks. Also, the diamond cut finish for the alloy wheels looks neat too. What do you think of it? Let us know in the comments below. However, I believe the rear fender could have been a better designed unit. The switch gear and the instrument console on the Ronin are of high order when we talk of quality. In fact, this instrument console offers a lot of information that at times would be really hard to process for the riders. Thankfully, it is legible in all sorts of lighting conditions. For now, let's hop on and see how it is to ride. The Ronin comes with a 225cc single cylinder motor that bells out 20 horsepower and roughly 20 Nm of max torque. The gearbox is a 5-speed manual unit while the clutch comes with slip and assist function. Now talking of suspension, you have upside down forks from Showa and you have a monoshock for the rear along with the box section swing arm. Rim size remains 17 inches for both front and rear rims. Now talking of the overall handling, it is very crisp and I think big reason for that is the offset front axle. The overall ergonomics on the Ronin are perfect and I think they are tuned for comfort. So long highway rides and urban commutes, they would be a great fit. Now talking of the overall engine's character, I think it has a very strong mid-range and the low-end grunt is prominent as well. But that's not the case with the top-end surge. For brakes, you get dual channel ABS and there are two riding modes as well, urban and rain. And in the rain mode, the intrusion is more pronounced, more prominent, whereas on the urban mode, the ABS kicks in slightly later. And it was a very short ride here in Goa. And with that, I can sum up that Ronin is a very delightful motorcycle to ride on windy roads and on straight highways and in urban commutes. With a price tag of Rs 1.49 lakh X showroom, Ronin seems like a very versatile motorcycle to me and I think it is more about accessibility, making accessible in terms of financial aspects, making it accessible in terms of rideability since it's a comfortable motorcycle and is very flickable. Of course, the design it is accessible as well because it will please to many and i think this is what my final take on the tvs ronin is so if you're in the market need a comfortable motorcycle that you can have your urban commutes on you want to go on a highway ride and you need a motorcycle that has a wide pillion seat i think it justifies all of your requirements what do you guys think of it let us know in the comments below for now i'm your host mohit balwaj we'll take a leap